Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we discussed about the virtual sequence and virtual sequence. And in that, I have told you that whenever we are calling a start method from the test class run phase, run phase of this test class, this start method has to call to the body method of sequence and the body method of sequence and the run phase of the driver will execute in parallel. So, in today's video, we will try to understand the handshaking mechanism between sequence and driver. Okay, so now here we are not considering the virtual sequence and virtual sequencer. We are just considering a simple test bench without the virtual sequence and virtual sequence. So, before moving to this, let me explain you a few points. So as you can see this test class in the run phase of this test class we are rising an objection and we are dropping an objection and in between that we are calling this start method okay so this particular sequence object dot start and within parenthesis we are providing the complete hierarchical path so what we are doing we are starting this sequencer se sequence onto this sequencer which is there in the particular agent of this particular environment Okay, so let me repeat once. We are starting this sequence onto this sequencer which is there in the agent of this particular environment. And this start method has to call to the body method of sequence and the body method of this sequence and the run phase of the driver will execute in parallel. So here we will try to understand how this handshaking mechanism is happened between this body method of sequence and this uh, you know driver run phase okay so <clears throat> let me explain with this test bench architecture so as you can see over here <clears throat> the environment has an agent component okay and this agent has three essential component called monitor sequencer and driver and this sequencer and driver are connected with the help of this tlm port export <clears throat> okay so driver has a port so it is an initiator and the sequencer has an export and in the connect phase of an agent we are making that connection and you can see this sequence okay so what we are doing we are starting this sequence onto the sequencer which is there in the agent of this environment and i hope you know what is sequence so this u sequence is an object class in the uvm base class hierarchy where the actual transaction is going to be generated so what we are doing we are starting this sequence so uh, in this sequence we are generating a transaction and we are you know applying this transaction to the dot with the help of this driver okay so driver get this uh, sequence with this sequencer and you can see the the communication is happening between sequence and driver and this sequencer is playing a role as a mediator between this sequence and driver Okay, we will we will try to understand this mechanism, handshaking mechanism between the sequence and drive. Okay, so let me show you the you know this diagram. With this diagram, you can you know easily understand. Okay, so as I told you, the sequencer is a mediator between the sequence and this driver, and this driver and sequencer are connected with this TLM port. So this driver has an port. So this driver has an initiator and this sequencer has an export. Okay, and this connection we are making in the run phase, sorry, in the connect phase of the agent. So let me explain you these four points and then we will move towards the snippet code for all these. Okay. So first driver as the driver is an initiator, it will send a request to get the sequence item to this sequence and it will wait for the sequence item by you know uh, taking the help of this predefined method called sequence item port dot get next item and within parenthesis we are providing this request object okay this request is an object of the transaction class okay and as you can see in the sequence it will wait for the request from the driver for this particular statement by calling the start item method predefined method and within parenthesis we are providing this request as an argument 
<coughs> okay so it will wait for the request from driver driver will send this request and it will wait for the sequence item now the sequence after getting a request from the driver it will generate the you know sequence item which is nothing but a transaction by calling this randomized method okay so this randomized method is uh, a you know system very log method so as you know system very log has a predefined randomized method and which will generate the pseudo number random okay so by calling this request dot randomize it will generate the pseudo number and pseudo random number okay <clears throat> and it will give this uh, give the the sequence item or transaction to the driver and it will wait for the acknowledgement or response from the driver by calling this finish item okay within parenthesis we are providing this request object and in the driver as you can see the c point it will drive this uvm sequence item to the dut or duv you can say design under verification or design under test and this method we have to write this drive item is in a user defined task so because uh, we have to write this based on the dut's protocol hence uvm developer have not come up with the logic a predefined method for this we have to write this a uh, task so it is user defined task based on the duties protocol and it will send the acknowledge on response back to the sequence by calling sequence item port dot item then and as you can see within parenthesis it is uh, this parenthesis in mto okay so as you can see this handshaking mechanism will happen by following this four steps okay so now let me show you the <laughs> code snippet code for so as you can see already we discussed the start method will call to the body method of the sequence and body method and run phase of the driver will execute in parallel so in the body method of particular sequence which is a task okay in task as you can see we are creating an object for this req by factories create method and in the repeat begin begin in block what we are doing we are starting item and we are finishing acting and we are you know randomizing here okay so already i have explained you start item finish item and randomize in the in that slide okay. <clears throat> similarly uh, as you can see uh, this three lines of code starting item randomizing and finishing item we can do with this uh, with this three lines of job with uh, with the help of this predefined tick uvm do macro okay so tick uvm do within parenthesis we can provide an object okay and this one line is enough for you know this three lines of code start item randomizing and finish item and if you want to provide an inline constraint we can use tick uvm do with and within parenthesis we can you know provide an inline constraint if any but if you see the literature you will find that this methods are not recommended because for example for instance if we have uh, the pre body or post body method in our sequence then those pre method and post method you know body methods will not call with this tick uvm do or tick uvm do we will understand this you know uh, this particular thing whether it is able to call this pre method and post method in the next video by taking one example so as of now you can consider if we are using tick uvm do or tick uvm do with then pre or post body method if we define any logic in that it will not call okay so it is better to i uh, use this three line of code if we have pre method and post body method <clears throat> and this is the run phase of the driver so in the forever begin block what we are saying we are saying the start item dot port start item port dot get next item which is blocking in nature and this drive item is a user defined task okay we have to write that and finish item you know sorry item done sequence item port dot item done okay so it will convey the successful complete of the process and send the acknowledgement or response to the sequence okay and this is the sample you know user defined task as we are calling this user defined task in which we can write our driving logic okay. and as you know it is recommended to use non blocking assignment whenever we are uh, writing or you know and uh, generating that random transaction data uh, to the driver okay
So this is what the user defined task. It is protocol dependent, so we have to write this. So this is what the handshaking mechanism between uh, sequence and driver. Okay. And with this, I hope you have understood. You understand the. You understood this complete logic, the handshaking mechanism between sequence and driver. And I also hope you have, you know, enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.